there's a purple marble there. Yeah. Hey, the last Starfighter. 1984, CG, early. Uh, yeah, very early CG. Actually, a film that had the balls to say we're going to do the main part of the movie in CGI. Very early CGI, but it works. This was actually uh, one of my favorite movies growing up. And Me we've too. actually spoken many times about doing the remake. Yeah, it's definitely a movie that if you're going to have to remake all this stuff from the 80s, this is definitely one that would benefit, I think, from being remade. Yeah, I mean, I think the plot is... <laughs> the plot is uh, not the best, but I think I like the structure of it starting in a trailer park. It's such a small beginning with an arcade machine as a true test that whoever can beat a final score can be an elite pilot in an intergalactic battle, something so big. And I think that's always appealed to me. When I was a little kid, I used to love the movie. I used to love the fact that it used to be in a little trailer park. Maybe because I actually lived in a trailer park for a couple years. It resounded with me. But, um... Yeah, man, this movie is really good 80s flick. Very underrated. Well, actually... And it has somebody about... named King Baggett. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about the plot really quick. I think the problem with this movie, I guess, is... I mean, we're being dorks, but, like, it was really, like, the, the screenplay, like, the script, like, the scene-by-scene -scene basis. Yeah. Because the idea is pretty cool. The I idea mean, is very Even cool. if you just tell somebody who's never seen it, oh, is this guy, he plays a video game, and then it's secretly a test to be a plan. You know I mean? It's kind of, it's like, oh, okay. It's kind of weird. Yeah. It's not, like, oh, it's, it, it, I don't know. It was, it was kind of a unique idea because it took the technology of the time. Yeah, the, the it did. The video game, the... the, the, the it or, did. I mean, it appeals to my style of filmmaking. Even when we were in college and we'd make movies, I'd always tend to love to have a story where it's so small in the beginning, but with such huge implications that you pretty much have a template that's immersed. I mean, it's huge. You can do whatever you want. It's such a little place, a little trailer park with a little kid with a, well, I guess it's a teenager, even though the guy looks like he's in college, but whatever. Well, I guess he's trying to go to college. Or good for the beginning yeah because we're kind of getting into like the, the let's just zoom out to what we're yeah, yeah, yeah. Already. so right now just for your reference yeah, yeah, yeah now we're gonna fast forward back to where we should be yeah right about there yeah right there right there just play right there all right <coughs> all right That's cutting back mode. to where well, just to help you find it uh what scene is it Okay, when uh, the end of when Centauri dies. Okay. And you can you can kind of hear it in the background the audio. Okay. You can hear the movie, so you have Good to try reference. to just match it, match it. Yeah. You'll hear like a delay. Yeah. It's kind of a pain, but. Oh, okay, I'll do it again. I like the table. Now I need a ear job. Dying here. Dying. The first thing you think, oh, the guy's head is, is in the thing. But then they did the table so you could see under the table. Yeah. That was clever. So it's yeah. either a mirror or he's mm. he's outside the window going like that, like leaning in. Alex! Right? Because you can see the bottom. You're having a terrible night. So either the, that's fake, like you know they're just they're blocking it uh, somehow. Obviously the closest I'm saying like he could be leaning in. That's kind of hard. No, they merge two shots in one. You think it's like a it's like a from yes. the desk up is a different shot. Yes, I think so. That's that's well done though because back then they would probably have to do the whole thing horizontal, 
and the body's there. Yep. Yep. I think that's exactly what they did. Now I can understand there's a beta unit taking your place it back home. looks like a different color there, doesn't it? So like he's faded, like a faded penis. <laughs> yeah. That would work to our advantage. Theoretically. Ah, now you look human. This bike in fact? This is a prototype different from the other ships. She has greater range, more power, and a slight weapon. You remember it had the death blossom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course she's got deflective plating, so she can withstand several direct hits. From here, this is where I navigate the ship, maintain life support and propulsion systems. Okay, so what do I say? Way up there, in the gunnery chair. So I get, obviously Last Starfighter refers to Hang on. since he's controlling okay. the the weapons, right? He's the weapon guy. Because the other guy is not a starfighter. No. He's kinda like I the last the samurai. <laughs> no. That's a funny trailer position. lash, the last starfighter with Tom Cruise. That's a cool thing, they kinda have that now, the the head, the head, the HUD. Yeah, the HUD. Yeah. Well, I guess technically. Look, look, but it's like for your eye. Hey, where'd it go? It's still there. <laughs> Suspended in a xenon mist, but it's only visible if you look dead ahead. Ah. Now, that's that's cool. kind of that's the cool, but if you think about it, it's kind of like a design flaw. In the middle of a battle, I don't think you're gonna be. What if you yeah. turn your head? What if you're wounded and you kind of? Well, I guess you're technically. Moving you're moving it with it. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. Yeah. It's cool, huh? Yeah, it is cool. And it's kind of like, okay, we don't have to show it in all those shots now. Exactly. If we could show it plainly and afford it. That's some guy saying, yeah, how did, it, why did he survive? Oh yeah, we just add that in. Well, that's a death blossom. That's something we might yeah. need if we're gonna die, but don't worry about that. Oh, we should do the Jaws. The ending of Jaws. Say, hey, what happened to Greg? Don't worry, he made it. <laughs> he was in the ship playing the death blossom. Yeah. Death is a primitive concept. I prefer to think of it as a primitive concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death is a primitive concept. I prefer to think of them as battling evil. In another dimension. In another dimension? How many are left? Including yourself? Yeah! What? <laughs> Hold it. There's no fleet, no starfighters, no plan. One ship, you, me, and that's it. Okay. Exactly. So things are still on Earth. Classic military strategy. Sorry. Surprise attack. It'll be a slaughter. That's the spirit. No, my slaughter. One ship against the whole armada. Yes, one gun star against the armada. I've always wanted to fight a desperate battle against incredible odds. That's one thing I never got. They show the meaning. Like Everybody's like, yeah, death Sorry, before dishonor, or whatever the hell they're saying. And then it's Victory like, or death. Where are they? No, they all died. Oh, and the explosion, right? Yeah, everyone dies. He's the last Starfighter. Ah, yeah. didn't. And he's going to show up at the dawn or whatever when the moon moves. So, he, you know what I mean? Yeah, He's yeah. the only one that could possibly stop it. Steady, don't fight the chair. Take your time, watch your gun sights, lead your targets. And above all, relax! Terrific. I'm about to get killed a million miles from nowhere with a gun ho iguana that tells me to relax. Interstellar! <laughs> Christopher Nolan, <laughs> <Interstellar>. <laughs> I think we talked, you saw the new trailer, right? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Is it the hair? They did something to make him look different. I don't yeah, know if it's it's, it's, it's psychological. They did something, right? They changed his, his hair. Is like he's like dorkier looking. Yeah, it's moppier downward. I don't know. That's good acting, I guess. Because he... Uh... Sorry. 
but he does kind of do the Starman thing. Yeah, yeah, he's Jeff Bridges like acting like stiff. a stiff, like a bird. <laughs> he was on Howard Stern talking about it. He was talking about Starman. They were talking about a bunch of stuff, and that's one that he really lo- loved that movie. Uh-huh. He said that uh, one of the things he he used was like a bird. Huh. Like everything is like. I heard he used a pig in Tron Come Legacy. <laughs> Did you smell anything? Like what? I guess. Forget it. Sweaty vagina? What was he gonna say? <laughs> I don't know. Are you okay? I just wanted to say I'm sorry for slapping you last night. Oh, that's okay, Max. Uh, I deserve it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't get it, is it another one? Yeah, I guess they sent another one. Because he blew up. He burned up. Squadrons of deck fighters would precede the mothership. Squadrons? How many squadrons? It isn't the number of squadrons that concerns me. It's this communication turret that sends out the commands to the deck fighters, which enables when, them when to When he's the beta thing, the, the saying, 80s hair. Yeah. The the Do you remember there was like this the Disney the Channel TV movies called Not Quite I'm Human? Not yes, dude. With Alan Thick, and then it was like... A, he, he created he a robot. Android, yes. He was like a robot teenager. Yep. Remember those things? Yes, it was injured. the kid from Boy Who Could Fly. Remember that movie, The Boy Who Could Fly? You know what, David? I know what you're talking about. Do you remember that movie, right? I remember the Channel 33 previews for it. Straight. But no, I do not remember that. Oh, it was that kid, that guy. Whatever the actor yeah, yeah, yeah. was. Yeah. But I remember that movie. I saw in the theater, Boy Who Could Fly. Isn't there like two parts to that shit? The robot one there is. Boy Who Fly is that kid that they think he's crazy. He never talks. He's the next door neighbor. This girl moves in. And the Fred Savage plays her little brother. Oh. And she oh. befriends him. He's like the weird kid. And at the end, he, he, he flies. Hey, we need to review that movie. This is your first the, oh, the wizard. The wizard. We have to do the wizard, though. Within range in five clicks. Get ready. Hell yeah, Nintendo the movie, I mean the wizard. <laughs> yeah. I've locked its beamer frequency, so I can't report back to the Armada. California. <laughs> First battle. We must lose him in these caves. It's like Star Wars animatics. Yeah. Exactly. Shoot, Alex. Shoot, Shoot, <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Sins do these things at the end. Or they do like outtakes. Yeah, I know. They, they, they do they like robot chicken things. Audio. They do like dork stuff. Yeah, that that's something they would do. Shoot! Again. That Voyager's still out there. <laughs> this guy's been back <laughs> to Earth three times. <laughs> but then again, <laughs> I like his suit though. It looks very like 80s NASA ish yeah. with the soft in- neck part.
<laughs> Stupid. So Pat comes back in to grab his dress, right? She's your old lady, she said. I hope this doesn't rule out there on Tuesday night. But man. She looks like he's wearing a wig there. Alex, are you okay? Scene. Why is there always a cop by the billboard? There's always a cop hiding behind a billboard, like Slither. And He's either drinking always... coffee or taking a piss or eating a donut. Alright, so they already set that up that they smell. And they glow? <laughs> I think it's taking over his body. Yeah. <laughs> God, his fingers, like three giant fingers. Yeah. Which how they crammed all his fingers into one chunk. Oh, uh, how's it look? That's caves above ground. Staring at his mouth. The enemy ships kind of look like a uh, like those little like drone things. What? Like those little drones. Oh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, you could tell like they they couldn't they could they couldn't do like a space uh Earth goes into gravity, like everything is like it would be on Earth. Yeah. The missile moves like this. Nothing really oh, floats. Nice. Yeah, it's just like they move really quick. Alfonso Cuarón wasn't involved. <laughs> Maybe there is a star pattern. God, he's Sandra Bullock the whole time. Oh, that's right. The whole time she's talking, I just keep thinking of speed. The gravity. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's just her just saying one-liners. 
Well, she's by herself anyway. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, like, she has to talk. Like, there's mm. no talking. By me staring at this gun tells you that I'm the alien. Mm -hmm. Ah, the lake. It's kind of a weird thing right now, especially the 80s movies like Friday 13th. They love lakes and Let's go, let's go in a big group and all have sex around each other. It's kind <laughs> of strange, you know? Yeah, yeah. There's always a campground. What's wrong? Chopping my tongue in your ear now? Don't bother, Alex. Well, it's just, I'm kind of new at these glad games. What are you talking about? It's like you're a million miles away, Alex. They're all like one with a million miles away, yeah. you're spaced out. Shoot him anyway. <laughs> yeah. Alex, or whatever you are, wait, wait. What are you doing? Let me go. If that data doesn't report back that I'm not Alex, Alex is in big trouble. You're staying here. No, I'm not. I'm not staying anywhere until I find out what's going on. Uh. In my truck. The shit makes a honking noise when he turns it on. He reminds you of that thing from episode one. They left the ventilation shaft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the little announcer. Yeah. That was supposedly his daughter. Yeah. Oh, the bad guy. There's a bad guy. Forgot. Oh, that's right. yeah. I like their costumes though. <laughs> For 80s, you know. Damn, they have the flashlights in space. The beta scenes are much more fun. They are much more fun. Energy group, shut down, Alex, shut down. Para. And that thing you saw said that they had a lot more beta scenes? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wonder if the Blu ray has it. Alex? In space? Yeah, yeah I guess you know that. You don't want the beta outshining the main yeah. character, so you have to like cut it down. Yeah, they probably decided to put only enough because because for this moment, remember, this is like the only thing he that he does that. Yeah, it's yeah. a glory moment. But I also think now, okay, it's a movie, but our fucking air defense is horrible. There's been so many alien ships coming in now. The bounty hunters came twice. They left three times. Yeah. Not one radar pops up. Everything was analog.
Mission Pulsar's in Stopper Commander. The last Starfighter is dead. The last Starfighter is dead. Yeah, sure, let's assume. Yeah. Yeah. It, they made a big deal about that scepter, but aside from it being a cool a prop, does it do anything? Absolutely. It's not like the, the Lord of the Rings. You know, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It gets to make it him have something. I mean, the guy barely is even in the movie, so it's yeah. like. Oh, Masters of the Universe. That'd be a good funny one to do. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Skeletor. Yeah. Uh, Frank Langella, I think, played him. Yeah. Oh, he did a really good job. Yeah, the finale right? was cool, and the big, the big fight, and that it crawls, another yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Sci-fi. I see it. Gee, I wonder if we're ever gonna do like just like a regular drama. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Like on Golden Pond. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy. Oh, there's the father they never showed. I guess he died. It's like Back to the Future, they're disappearing. I love you, well, it's broken. Cheesy shot. Six. Heads up display. Check. Five. Lasers. Oh, Check. you see the scene where she has to explain Four. what happened to the truck, to Check. the cowboy, Check. and the police, Check. why there's a charred bionic Four. man in there. Let's do it. Right, first of all, if they remade it, it's too much waiting around for the final battle. Yeah. And of course, they could. They probably had to kill time because they couldn't really do that many action scenes. I'm sure they're very limited. They're like, oh, we have yeah, like yeah, 10 yeah. shots. Just, it seems like half, half half, of him in space has been in that cave talking. <laughs> Wait. Gunster. So, the last Starfighter is dead. He does look kind of like a fish. Far enough. Seize him. Not the joke. I am the Emperor of Rattles. I and I alone command this entire... He's so powerful that they could just seize him and that's it, huh? It's like a cartoon character. He's horrible, right? Terrible. And he doesn't even look behind him. Yeah, the bad guy's weak. If you want to make him some sort of like scorned starfighter, you do like Eric Bana did the, the, Starfight, the Star Trek movie, remember? He yeah, was a good bad yeah. guy. Did you like the second Star Trek? Yeah, I did. I liked it too. The first one was more, I think, was a better movie. But the second yeah. one had some good stuff. It was more money, but... Oh, like... <laughs> it kind of annoyed me that the whole time you're like, Oh, it's not a remake of Wrath of Khan, and it was. They changed it a little bit, but it was basically... They tried too hard to hide it. Yeah. And everybody knew eventually that's what it was going to be anyways. All communication and radar systems are out, Wing Commander. Proceed with a visual attack formation. Our radars don't work backwards. Yeah. I'm on back to peak. Think we got to get Death Blossom. Already? Death Blossom delivers only one massive volley at close range. Theoretically. What do you mean, theoretically? After all, DB has never been tested. It might overload the systems. Ah, DB. Blow up the ship. What are you worried about, Grief? Theoretically, we should already be dead. Mm -hmm. Open Death Blossom patterns. Switches off. Now they're going straight to the Death Blossom already. Yeah. <laughs> So, obviously he just said it's a last resort, but it really is because if you were in a fleet of other starfighters, Death Blossom would just shoot everybody. Exactly. It would have to be if you're the last one. It's like a suicide bomb. Yeah, it's like a desperate yeah, yeah, yeah. spread shotgun blast. But I'd be afraid that some asshole would just do it. <laughs> That Star Wars shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Or Independence Day. Every time someone gets shot, they would have that one quick shot. The pilot going, ah!
you think they built him a chair that really actually that spun around 360? It looks like it looked, yeah, they might have sped it up a little bit, but... I mean, think about it, like, all that blue screen in the background, that was probably a big deal back then. No, yeah. All these shots, we gotta add shit to the background. And it's like different shades of black. <laughs> it is. Then they lit it wrong or something, and like the, the, the blue... Look, now it's black. The command ship! The old lady. Our guns are out. Damage controls are repairing them. Forget the guns! Running speed! Oh, we're coming close to the best end line yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost over already. So weird that you would expect the command ship, especially like in that era, to have a big screen in the middle. <laughs> like they're kind of blind. Yeah. There's a screen there, but they never show them looking out. To <laughs> the patching in, that reminds me of a... Uh... Now. The ships blow really easy. They're like one hit, they explode. Huh. Why do they sound like modems? It, it does. It sounds like when you logged on AOL. <laughs> it sounds like Neo in the Matrix when he first gets taken in. Oh yeah, when it goes down his throat. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, baby. We die. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Now it just barely touches the surface and it blows. <laughs> that was a small moon. Yeah. I don't think something that small would have a gravitational pull. <laughs> And also, they finally show Rylos. But oh, his yeah. ferry is only quick shots. Looks like uh, NAS. It looks like it's getting his face center. That's another thing they could have, you know. <laughs> it's just a black room. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. And then all of a sudden, there's a lot of people alive. It's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, people couldn't fight. Well, there was only one ship left, I guess. That's a shitty fleet, bro. Rebuild the they, there's a lot of stuff yes. that they set up expecting oh, more and they yeah. did it. The, the people oh, in the background, their helmets, something about it reminds me of like Flash Gordon. <laughs> Flash! <gasps> Where do you get the wig? Centauri! <laughs> and you were dead! Me die and miss all the excitement? Oh, no. I was merely dormant while my body repaired itself. No, I won't bore you with the details. So now I think, now every time you told me that, Rylos, I think uh, Robin boy. Williams now. Stop thinking huh. human. That's lesson number one. Now, lesson number two. You've got a good thing going here. Keep smiling. Don't blow it. With a beard, lesson you said? Yeah. Always what do you think? Either way, it'll be fine. I think with a beard, you take it more seriously. Because well, he had the beard in a. Uh, and wiser, I think. He had the beard in a uh, Google Hunting man look yeah. over there. So they're cloning all these people then? They all had the same thing he did. What do you mean? They all dressed like him. So are they bringing back everyone back from the dead? I don't know. Well, he's not a clone. He just said that his body was like shut down. While it yeah, it looked like he wasn't like in a, in a facility. Like they experiment. Like they, he wasn't like in a little thing, and they all had the same thing. Yeah. The director definitely had something to do with heads. Everyone had to have a special head. <laughs> well, this is practically over. You ready for round two? Yep. Oh, you still got beer. You need to get food. I don't know what the hell. Yeah, are you hungry yet or no? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll eat. Oh my god. What? She knows where he is. She was with him. 
You've done enough. We can handle it. You've done enough. You don't have to go get I don't remember. Does he show up in the car or the ship? No, he shows up in the ship. Yeah, he just lands in the middle of the park, right? That's pretty badass, though. I do it the same way, too. <laughs> and then the first that we mentioned it before, but then Greg is like, oh, we only have a couple minutes before they detect us on their, their satellite system. Ah, okay. When B is getting out, that actually doesn't look too bad. No, it doesn't. Look at the smoke. He takes her with him, right? He he came back for her, but she doesn't want to go. And she's scared to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the grandma. Greg, this is this is Mrs. Boone. Hello. Hello. And uh, this is Elvira. Delighted. Me too. How you doing? I do well. And this is Granny. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> and this here's Otis. A pleasure. Well, you you look like me. <laughs> and uh, this is Maggie. A very large pleasure. Hi. You must be Lewis. <coughs> I hear good things about you. You like slimes? I'm famous. <laughs> the black guy is uh, about to beat him. <laughs> this, this is my mom. You should be proud of Alex, Mrs. Rogan. Fucking cockhead. You must all be proud of him. He saved the Star League and hundreds of worlds, including Earth. Oh, for heaven's sake. Look at that Oh, there's other kids there all of a sudden. And <laughs> well, he's jealous. Cow was jealous. Alex? After my. It's Eric Winslow. <laughs> that ain't Paul Paul. It's Carl Winslow. Carl Winslow. Can I go 
the two Alex, can I? Sorry, Squirt. There's only enough room up there for me, Brig, and Maggie. It's like, fuck you, she's bigger than me. <laughs> yeah. Alex, oh, shit. I, I don't think what? I can. It's like, dude, Why don't you I think I came back. What? Didn't I say we'd always be together? Well, yeah. To get here or in the city. But not there, Alex. Man, she gotta come. See, I'm not. I don't. I don't know when I'm gonna be back. Don't you see? This is it. This is our big chance. It's like, what always says, when it comes, you gotta grab on with both hands and hold tight. Well, what about Granny, Alex? You're right. I'm scared of leaving here. Why can't you just stay? Maggie, I have to leave. I want you to come with me. Alex! Hurry! Well, I gotta go. Um, Isn't that photo I posted? Yeah, I saw <laughs> I cropped the top. Uh, Somebody says... Yo, nigga, or something like that, like cropped it, you know. Oh, right. Niggas be like, or something like that. Y'all taking it really well. Yeah, I know, I gotta go, mom. Alright. Bye, come back when you get back from 7 Eleven. <laughs> Girlfriend, she didn't even she didn't even go back to get any clothes. I know. <laughs> you imagine true. her on the other planet? Oh, shit! I should have got a pair of shoes. <laughs> this is the best one hit. Well, the cheesy line right here. Are you sick? No, it's coming up. What? Did you hear him? <laughs> Lucas the Junior. Light star bright. <laughs> the place where Ma Alice and Maggie left for the stars. <laughs> Who was Zur? He was horrible. Norman oh. Snow. Good God. Friendly alien. Elvira. Vernon Washington. That was Otis. That was the like the wise janitor guy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the guy who ran the, the convenience what? store. 